everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom blog. Welcome to creating squirrels for use in the classroom. If you've never heard of a squirrel before, you're about to find out. It's a very, very cool tool. You're not going to have to send your students to the computer to type in those super long URLs. And um, it's wonderful for your own personal use as well. Um, the squirrel we're talking about is obviously not like my little friend here, Mr. Bushytail, who it kind of looks like his tail is coming out of the top of my head. Um, but I think you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to send you over to the screencast so that way you can enjoy it. Make sure whenever you finish, head right on over to the blog, um, www.theorganizedclassroomblog.com to see all of the links for the squirrels that I am going to mention. They'll be there as well if you want to take a look at it yourself. And we'll see you on the other side. Bye. Welcome back everyone. It's good to see you here. Okay, so let's go through uh, what a squirrel is as far as you can actually see what it looks like. This is a quick squirrel that I made up last night. This is my latitude longitude squirrel. So as you can see, all it is is a collection of different websites or resources that you want to put together. Okay, I've got a game on here, a couple other games. I've got a web quest, National Geographic game. Um, this one's a word lesson on here. Um, the Google Where in the World game is on here. I've got a YouTube video, a hurricane tracking video, a Quia game. Some more YouTube videos. I've got a teacher tube video that actually a teacher teaches about latitude and longitude. Here's a great self-study lesson using Google Maps, where in the world dot game, and Google. I actually saved the Google search that I have collected all these resources from, so that way in case I need to add more to it or I want to head back that way, I can just click on it. And it's very, very simple, literally. All you're going to do, or the students, after they log in, they're going to go to your favorites, find your squirrel that you want them to. They're going to click right on the picture. It'll take them right to whatever it was on the squirrel that um, you wanted them to do. So you could tell them, go to the squirrel and do the web quest that's on there. So they log in, they click on there, they go right to it and get started on it. So it's a really, really easy way for students to be able to see it and do it and you don't have to have them type anything into the URL bar, anything. It's, it's really fantastic. So you say, okay, great. So how do I get started? Well, all you're going to do is go to squirrel.com and you go here and actually this is wonderful. They actually have a squirrel screencast that shows you some things. It's showing you um, other ideas that you could use a squirrel for, which we're also going to look at. And that's it. All you're going to do is click on register. You are going to choose your username. It's optional whether or not you want to put your own name in. You're going to put your email address in and your password. And you click sign up and that is absolutely all that you do. That, that is completely it that you have to do. So now I want to show you on mine, I'm going to log in here so you can see what it looks like. Here are my two different squirrel accounts that I have and I am also following for other squirrels. So if you see squirrels that um, you like, you can click, there's a little at the very bottom of the page, a little heart. You can click on that heart and you can also follow their squirrels if they have some really good resources. But what I wanted to show you is if you go down here to where it says Squirrel Tools and you click on the browser bookmarklet, it'll click and it'll install very quickly. Right up here on my toolbar, I have an Add to Squirrel. Okay? And if I click on that, it opens this little box on top of any web page that perhaps I want to add to my squirrel. So let's do a practice one. Okay, I am going to go to, let's see, here's another good one that I saw. This looked like a pretty interesting website to add to my squirrel. I, I ran across it later as I was searching for some things. I've installed my bookmarklet, Add to Squirrel. I'm going to click on it. It opens up this fancy little box, and I can add to 
my latitude longitude squirrel. I can put in a short description if I want to. So I'm going to put in Earth Science Mapping. And I'm going to click Add URL. That's it. That's all there is to it. If I wanted to create a whole new group because I came across something, I could also do that as well. Um, I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to my squirrel. It's always right at the bottom. Now this says thumbnail queued. You're going to see that. Just give it, give it a little while and then click the refresh button. It might be too early yet for it. It, get, it needs a second to actually pull the screenshot from wherever it is that you um, want to um, have on there. So while we're waiting for that, I want to show you another great thing. Now the, the latitude longitude one is fantastic for just that specific concept that I want to do. Um, I'll show you a couple other examples. This one I ran across last night. Um, and this person has created um, six different categories for their different subject areas. And I thought it was really, really good because you could just do one for your class. Your class could go into this specific one, find the right subject, say they're going into math, and look at all of these fantastic games and ideas that they have going on in here too. So if you say go in and play the stop the clock game, they can go in and find it very quickly without having to type in this entire huge URL. So that's pretty fantastic. Another one that I've done before, and this one I'm also going to place right on my, um, on my blog, on my website. So if you go to www.theorganizedclassroomblog.com, go to video resources, and you'll also, I will post a link to this squirrel as well if you want to check it out. This one I have also created for these are and I can go ahead and just add those as I find them. I add them right to the squirrel by using my add to squirrel button. And I'm good to go with that one as well. All right, so let's go back to our latitude longitude. Let's see if it's queued up yet. It has, so there it is. Sometimes you just have to give it a few minutes. One last quick thing that I'm going to show you what to do is if I want to edit this, I click on edit and I can change not a whole lot, but enough. I can change the description if I want to. I can change what it says here. And most importantly, I can change the order. So if you want things done in a specific order, you just click and drag. That's all that you do. You're just clicking and dragging. So if you want to place all your games together, um, your smart board lesson, if you want them to do a self tutorial, then look at a YouTube video, then go to a game. You could put them in that order and tell the students to do it in that order as well. Whenever I am, I'm going to go right back to my squirrel, and there it is. It's all set, and it's all done. I've made the changes that I want to. So that's really all there is to um, doing a squirrel. It really takes only a few minutes to set up, and especially if you add this little bookmarklet here to it, that is uh, even better. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my teacher's site. I'm going to do latitude, longitude, squirrel. So that way, if you want to see these as well in action, you certainly can. So I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Um, definitely make sure if you click on the red banner here at the bottom, it will take you to my YouTube channel. And please subscribe to it. You'll get all of my latest and newest teaching videos as they come out. So we hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you later. Bye.